What is going on everyone? I hope you all are having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my best to compare the Elgato HD60S software to the Elgato HD60X software. Now, uh, the S is one that I've used forever. The Elgato HD60X is the brand new one. It has 4K pass through and let me tell you the picture quality in my videos now that I can actually see 4K is beautiful, wonderful. I absolutely love it. But the softwares, I really like the old software better than the new software. And that's what we're gonna be comparing today. Just in case some of you may still have the HD60S and are thinking about upgrading to the S Plus or the HD60X. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so before we start showing anything on screen, let's start off talking about pass through as I think that's probably the easiest place to start. The brand new Elgato HD60X has 4K pass through and the Elgato HD60S does not. Now what that means is that even if you've got 4K screens, even if you have 4K capable consoles, if you're using the Elgato HD60S, you only actually ever see 1080p 60fps on your gaming screen. Now, if you're using the brand new Elgato HD 60X, you can actually enjoy your games in all their 4K 60fps glory. And I have to tell you, it looks absolutely beautiful. Since I've been using the S for so long, uh, I forgot that I'm not actually seeing 4K. And now that I've got the HD 60X, my gameplay looks fantastic. There's so many more details that you were never able to see with the Elgato HD 60S, thanks to the Elgato HD 60X. Now I know that I'm saying a lot of words right now that sound the same. I hope you guys are keeping up. Next, let's talk about the software. Now, as I've said in the past, I absolutely love the Elgato HD 60S game capture software. It's the primary reason, despite owning an HD 60S Plus forever, that I never actually used the S Plus. Now, unfortunately, if you do want to use the S Plus or the brand new Elgato HD 60X, you do have to leave your game capture software and use the brand new 4K capture utility software. And that's where this video comes into play. There's a few differences with the new 4K software that I don't like, and I really hope that Elgato will eventually update the program. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and open up the Elgato HD 60S software. This is a game capture HD software, and uh, this is basically the old software, right? So first, let's talk about streaming. Uh, one of the options that you've got down here on your software easily is to record. We all know what record does. This is how you make uh, your VODs, your gameplay videos, your compilation videos, stuff like that. You've got your flashback recording here, but also if you wanted to stream, we've got a really nice button right here that allows you to set up your stream very, very simply. You can hook up your Twitch, your YouTube. You can even hook up uh, some of the restream services so that you could stream to YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch all at the same time. Now this is not available on the other software. And let me bring that up real quick. All right, so this right here is your 4K capture utility. This is what you're gonna be using with the Elgato HD 60S Plus and the Elgato HD 60X. Now again, you've got all your basic stuff here. You've got a record button. You've got your flashback recording right here. So you can go back in time in case you miss anything. Press live to go back to where you're at. But we don't have that streaming service. Now, this is totally fine. Again, this is just my personal preference. It's nice having those options. But the majority of us, whether you're using an Elgato HD 60S or a brand new Elgato HD 60X, uh, you probably use OBS, XSplit, Streamlabs, whatever it is that you use. I just really like having that option. So that's one option that you don't have, which means you are going to have something else in order to stream. More than likely, it's going to be OBS totally fine just wanted to point that out the next thing that i want to talk about is uh, the fact that you can't really edit on the new software so on this older software if you had a video luckily i've got one right here uh, if you had a video you had this really nice edit area where you could scroll through older videos and decide what you wanted to keep and what you didn't so if you didn't like this area right here like a place that's just not important to whatever video you're trying to make you could go and snip here and move over snip here and then delete that now of course you're not going to get the best videos just doing this but it is a nice thing to cut out all the stuff that you don't need for videos that you're trying to make now once again if we switch over to the new software now you still have your library which is all the videos that you've recorded previously but you don't really have an edit you can check them out we can play one here and you can scroll through it you guys can see that Go ahead and press play whenever you want, but you don't have anything to edit with here. Now, all that means is that you're going to need 
a editing software. Now, most of you guys have this. If you're making videos uh, for YouTube, you more than likely have some sort of editing software. If you're streaming to Twitch, you probably don't need this because you're just using this to stream, but it is nice having that option once again. It's not anything that's gonna change or dissuade me from using the Elgato HD60X 4K capture utility. It's just nice having those options. All right, guys, one of the other things I wanna talk about is uh, the screen capture capabilities, right? So we're back on our old software. This is for the HD60S. This is your game capture HD software. And you have a option to uh, capture a screenshot, right? So you can do this at any time that you want. You can do it while you're live. You can do it um, while you're playing games. Uh, let's just say I want a screenshot of this for some reason. You click that screenshot and you get a screenshot that shows up right here. Now, additionally, if you wanted to go into your editing software, once again, just so that uh, you've pre-recorded a video that you're trying to make into a series, whatever the case is, and you find a really good spot for your video to make a thumbnail, uh, you want to go ahead and click that icon once again, and that'll give you a screenshot from one of your past videos that you've got in your library. So if we come back to the 4K capture utility, which is the brand new software, once again, if you're live during your capture, you do have an option button right here. So you're playing some games, you're doing whatever you need. Uh, let me just move this down some, and you wanna capture this area for some reason, you can go ahead and do that. You can capture a screenshot, and that'll pop up right there. So all that's fine and good, but if you go to your library, uh, you don't have that option. So you, I don't know, let's just say you're trying to find a screenshot that you've got for whatever reason, and uh, you wanna take a screenshot from here, you wouldn't be able to do that because you don't have the option anywhere. Now again, you probably have a program that allows you to take screenshots, so it's not that big a deal, but once again, it's just one of those small little features that would be nice to carry over to the new program. And this last part's gonna be a little bit hard for me to explain, so I'm gonna do my best to show you. I am gonna be using my phone camera in order to show you guys this, so please forgive me if it doesn't come through the way I'm trying to explain it, but uh, your instant game view. So on the old software, on the old hardware, the Elgato HD60S, uh, everything that happened on my gameplay compared to the software was one-to-one. -one. That means there was zero latency. If I jumped at the exact same time, my software would jump. Uh, anything that I did within the game showed up on screen, zero latency. Now, for some reason or another, this has been an issue for me at least. I'm not sure about you guys, but with the HD60 S Plus and the brand new one that I just got, the HD60 X, with that brand new 4K capture utility, there the instant game view is not one-to-one -one. it's supposed to be but there is a fraction of a second and i really hope that you guys can see this but it's it's maybe half a second or less latency now that's not such a big deal or anything but that has caused some audio issues on my live streams where audio gets unsunk and i have to restart the software in order for it to sync back up and also it's just not as good as the old software it's not one-to-one -one. Uh, again, it's as close to one-to-one -one as you can get it, but it's still a fraction of a second off. Hopefully you guys can see that on screen right now. If not, uh, I don't know how else to explain it, but I hope you guys understand what I mean. But with all that said, uh, I, I absolutely love the Elgato HD 60 S the S plus and the Elgato HD 60 X. I'm going to be using the X from here on out because it is absolutely mind boggling what you can see from the HD 60 S the old hardware to the brand new HD 60X. I can see everything in 4K. There's so much more detail in what I'm playing on screen. And uh, I really like that. So I'm willing to give up these minor inconveniences, but I really do hope that the 4K capture utility software gets updated to have some of the same features that the older software had. Now, that's just my opinion, guys. I would love to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, do you have an HD 60S? Have you upgraded to the brand new ones, S Plus or the X? And what do you guys think about it? Are you guys having some of the same issues that I am? Yes or no? I'd love to know. Leave those down in the comments. And as always, I will see you on the next video.